Hey guys, welcome to the mid-monthly love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces, please? Mid-March through mid-April. One card for Pisces and the current energy for them, please. One card for Pisces. Love and romance. Mid-March through mid-April. All right, we have King of Pentacles, interesting. All right, let's take a look at the dynamic or the current situation with this energy. So Pisces, this could be reflecting you, this could be reflecting them. Look at this, the Lovers card. What else for the Lovers, the King of Pentacles? Wow, look at that energy. One more for Pisces, please. All right, nine of swords, interesting. Okay, so there could be some fear or worry here in a connection. There could be some stress going on right now in this connection. All right, so king of pentacles, earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So whether this is you or someone else's energy around you, the king of pentacles is someone who could be very supportive financially. Um, they may be very about counting their coins, consolidating, saving money, working on those things. And the king of pentacles tends to be someone who is very, very committed. So this could be a connection that is soon to come in for you, a connection that you already have with somebody, um, but they could be very focused on work right now, maybe not so much on the emotional end of it. You guys could be facing maybe some choice in your connection or facing a choice that you're going through currently within the home with the lover's card. Um, the lovers can represent choices, but it also represents a divine connection, a soul connection. Um, this is very deep with the lovers. The lovers is the sign of Gemini. So duality comes with the choices. Um, this could also represent needing to bring in more balance in your life in terms of maybe um, work and love. The uh, balance between the divine feminine, divine masculine energies coming together. And we have this nine of cups. So the nine of cups is beautiful energy. This represents hopes, wishes, and dreams being fulfilled for you. And if this isn't something that you are currently experiencing, but you've been wishing on, waiting on, this is definitely coming in for you. Because it's Nine of Swords. This is stress. This is fear. Worry. So, you know, if you've been single for a while and you're worried about this connection, will you meet someone who fits this criteria? Then yes. But there's stress and worry here that needs to be released. Um... I will clarify, see what's going on with that. But this King of Pentacles, definitely someone who is committed. And if there is fear here involving this, definitely release that fear. And trust your intuition. Let's take a look. I'm going to clarify the lovers. Clarify the lovers for Pisces, please. Yeah, choice or a decision. Look at this. Queen of Swords. Ten of Cups. Some of you may be wondering whether or not to take this commitment a step further. Some, For some of you, this could even be, are you going to commit to this person? The Ten of Cups represents taking this a step further. This could represent even maybe buying a home together, starting a family. But we have this Queen of Swords, and I'm feeling there that saying with the lovers that there's a decision, then getting that Queen of Swords, there's some kind of decision here for some of you. Um, the Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. What is this Nine of Swords? This could be matters about the home even, matters with family, children. Wow, look at this. Yeah, Ace of Swords. For some of you, maybe there's just some stress, fear, and anxiety going on in your head that you need to communicate to this person. Um, and, you know, if you're currently in a separation, for some of you, this could represent a separation that you've been in. 
Maybe there's a need here to finally communicate and hash some things out. For others of you, you may be going through a separation because we have the Ten of Cups. That can represent the end of a cycle. Queen of Swords, same thing. Ace of Swords, a separation. But for others of you, there could be something here that really does need to be communicated. Let's take a look. I'm going to pull some Oracle Guidance. We already have one that fell out. Very interested. Yeah, look at this. Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. So with the first quarter moon, there's typically there's a square and what that usually brings is some kind of tension into this matter. So it could be a tension involving, um, you know, your emotions, the love versus work. So a balance, again, like I said, between home and family life and work for some of you. But something here maybe needs to be communicated in order to get this energy released release that nine of swords and then bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius so i also find that interesting because we have the queen of swords here so taking on that energy bringing love into the situation um so being compassionate like that queen of swords she's like the divine feminine the watery energy mixed with air very compassionate but also sets boundaries so maybe more boundaries need to be set in this connection or something needs to be communicated here let's take a look at the whispers of love what else for pisces with whispers of love please yeah look at this embrace your emotions don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions so this could be representative of you in this relationship, or this could be representative of the other person. Whether you are in a relationship just starting this connection, or you've had a connection for a while with somebody, embracing your emotions. So definitely communication needs to happen. Don't judge yourself, don't judge your feelings. Even if they seem like little things, little things add up and they matter. So communication needs to happen. Even if you can tell that the other person is tense, Maybe needing to ask, you know, what's going on, starting it that way. Um, but yeah, definitely embracing emotions in this connection. I feel like there's some kind of blockage there with that. With the Nine of Swords, it's more like thinking about it, but not saying it. So that could need to happen. Same thing if you're interested with, you know, in somebody and you haven't quite gotten to that level yet. Maybe needing to communicate your emotions or someone will be telling you how they feel about you. But don't push those emotions down. Put them out there. And even if it doesn't per se work out or they don't feel the same way, at least you know you put it out there. That's just worst case scenario here. But for some of you, I feel like you're going to be starting this new cycle. Maybe that's part of this decision. Putting your emotions out there. The other person you know, finally knows how you feel. And then that brings the connection together. So instead of just thinking it, saying it. So very important advice there. A lot of the same cards with the Ace of Swords seems to be the same theme here, Pisces. I hope that you have an amazing month ahead. If you'd like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you can type in Awakened Soul Tarot. Um, I also have those links for Facebook and Instagram in the description box. And same with private readings. All that information is in the description box below. Take care.